Hey everyone, Fluffy here. Well, back at you looking like a busted can of biscuit. I don't even care. <laughs> Just got back from Walmart, so uh, some of y'all had mentioned that you really like grocery hauls. So I thought I'd come home and do one. Normally I just leave the crap in the wagon until I get rested, but um, I really want to get this out of the way because I've got some meats that really need to get put away. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This is from my favorite Asian restaurant, Asian store slash restaurant, the Omart. Who's pissed off because I just got home. And I'm not sitting where he can lay on me. <laughs> that was not on the floor when I left. So, no telling. All right, let's get started. I'll just grab a bag. These were on sale for $2.99. I normally get the, uh, kimchi, the kimchi ones, but uh, they didn't have any. J1, it's like the best, and I've got to get them into the freezer. Um, I buy these. I haven't bought them in a while. All they are are udon noodles. They're individually packed. There's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Y'all, you just take them out and you can just dump them in a sauce. You don't have to soak them in water. They're already cooked. Sometimes I'll do my kimchi jjigae, my kimchi soup or the bude soup and I don't want to make rice. The last second, all they got to do is get warmed up. You can put this in a stir fry, the last thing you put in. Two minutes, they're thawed, you mix it around. These are the best, y'all. Very handy. Very, very handy. Okay, I've got my wagon. I got some leaf lettuce. The kind you use for wraps and stuff. Y'all, I spent too much money. I'm done spending, so I gotta let this stuff last until um, payday. <laughs> She told me the price, and I was like, oh my god, that's a lot even for Omar. These are baby bok choy. I love baby bok choy, y'all. These are so versatile. Remember, what did I put them in? What did I put them in? Did I put bok choy in something? What's it at the, um... I don't remember, y'all. Don't give me the lion. Uh, the couscous, I think. Didn't I have to make that beautiful pop of green color? Love me some baby bok choy. It's not the big, like, the big bok choy. I got some more of these. You know those radishes? I got one, two, I think I got three of these, which is a shame because I thought I had one more in the fridge. I got this, it says pork for stew. This is my favorite thing to put in kimchi soup. Y'all, look what's gonna come up soon. The LA Galbi ribs. I'm going to keep these as raw meat, so I think I'm going to keep this in the bag, y'all. So it's not getting everywhere. They were not previously thawed, but they're starting to sweat. I got a cabbage. Green cabbage, very versatile. Oh, this popped up, but I knew it because I was just dumping the crap. Y'all, this is my, um... Come on in a different container the um fish cakes y'all i love fish cakes like this i don't know why i don't like it in the tukbuki i tried it and it just tastes oh i don't know maybe if i make tukbuki myself and put this in there i don't know and then i had gotten like three or four of these and then i went down the ways and somebody got smart and made a real big container of it y'all i'd rather snack on this than chips I really and I suppose since it's fish it's better for me I don't know just just tell me a lie okay this is the rest of my buddha soup that I could not finish uh, compliments of Didi that video by the time you see this one that video should be up I had to film two different versions of it so I have to watch both of them and see which one I like the best uh, because I got interrupted when I did the first round and I, this is the cabbage, okay, let's see, There's baby bok choy, oh, what I went for, can we guess what it is, <laughs> I 
the Omar brand, the mock means cut up. Kimchi, yes. When my daughter's around for a while, we get the one that's like double this, the real tall one, but this is good for me. Oh, what did I do, y'all? I want to have fish cakes coming up my hiney. Here's more fish cakes. I got beef bagogi. Well, it says marinated beef, but that's usually what it is. That's what's smelling up the car. Uh, pickle radishes. Love these, y'all. Mm. They taste different than the container. I think these are the same thing, but these are made by Omar, and it's got uh, carrots in it. So that's, that's real good. The same crap, y'all. Okay, I know I paid for it too much. It'd probably be real cheaper at Walmart. This is my favorite hot sauce, uh, Cholula. I don't even like um, like the Tabasco. Too vinegary. I like Cholula. It's got more flavor than vinegar. And I thought I'm not going to Walmart just for some Cholula. So, okay, I told you I was gonna make the LA Galbi. Well, I decided to cheat. And I got the sauce for it. So let's hope. See, it's the, the gobby marinade. So let's hope that this tastes good. <laughs> we'll find out together. Because I can't hide stuff. If I don't like it, y'all know. I'm like, uh, <laughs> y'all know right away if I don't like it. <sighs> this is usually on sale. They haven't had tofu on sale for a while. The firm tofu, I like firm or extra firm because it seems to hold its, uh, unless I'm having sundubu jjigae, which I don't have a lot, which is soft tofu soup, I'll get the extra firm. This particular brand like this comes, there's four squares, almost like half a brick of cream cheese, but four of them. So it's a little easier when you just want one square. Best way to store tofu once you've opened it is especially if you only use the one brick dump all the the water out of it rinse it off real good put it in your separate clean container fill it up with water seal it and put it in the fridge and then every time you take some out repeat that green onions y'all these last forever in the fridge 20 cents a bunch for one bunch oh you can smell them oh my god it smells like they come out of somebody's back y'all 20 cents a bunch, so I got three bunches. Anything more than that, and they go bad. But these last longer in the fridge. Um, you know fish sauce sauce? And I bought this, and I wanted to get the ingredients for spring rolls, but by the time I bought all this, I completely forgot. I didn't remember until after I was eating lunch. And then I didn't want to go back, and I'm glad because of how much this cost. Uh, this is for, like... The egg rolls or the dumplings, the Vietnamese or fill, yeah, the Vietnamese dumplings and stuff. Cheaty, you can make, uh, there's a big process to make the fish sauce sauce. This is the cheaty way. Somebody taught me. You pour this and fish sauce together and that makes the fish sauce sauce. And you just keep adding more fish sauce till it tastes like you want it. Views on the road first told me about dashida. And I had gotten the beef one, but like I said, I'm not the one who moved the kitchen and my daughter downsized and she didn't know how long we had it. She got rid of it. And I don't see, now watch, after I bought this one, I'll find the other one. But uh, it's dashida, it was in that section. And I got the mushroom kind instead of a particular flavored one. This way I can put it all together. And um, the dipping sauce, when you do wraps, I guess it's supposed to be sesame oil and just salt or salt and pepper. Views on the road in her family, because her husband's Korean, they put dashida in this in the sesame oil to dip. So I thought I'd try that. I have the wrap, so if I, you know, get a wild hair, hair up behind you to do it, I can do it. Or she says she puts it in a lot of her dishes. It just kind of gets that extra, you know, umami or something. So <sighs> I copycatted, but I'm giving views the credit. Hint, hint to some of you people out there. <laughs> I won't go into that. <laughs> okay, here's the gimbap, y'all. I bought two. I bought a second one so that I could eat one at lunch. This is what they look. They're at $2.99, and these used to be $0.99 cents when they first came out. That's still cheaper than some grocery markets. They'll charge $8, and they'll only be four pieces. 
This is a whole roll for $2.99. It's still a good bargain. And here's the second one that I ate some of it out of there at lunchtime. That's probably why I brought some of the soup home. It was just, I'm not eating a whole lot at one time, y'all. Pretty soon it's gonna be a pretty damn boring uh, mukbang because I'm not gonna be able to get a lot down. Uh, they call it seasoned cucumber, um, cucumber kimchi. And then some pork bagogi. I can stick this in the freezer and have it whenever. Y'all, let's do a guess of how much I paid for this. Uh, I think Dee Dee paid for part of this because I barely, not even used half of what I had for lunch today. So, let's see. I don't know anybody from Oregon, so you get your money when you get your money. Y'all, that's it. Yep. That's everything. I'm looking. Yep. That's everything. So I hope this wasn't a boring haul. Some of you professional haulers, y'all just make wonderful videos. Um, so especially um, Super Rainbow Queen, Sunshine, you just do some really, really awesome uh, hauls. Your commentary is so funny. I just love watching yours. So somebody said they like hauls, so I did one. So uh, I won't have my feelings hurt if y'all put on the comments, uh, yeah, Fuffy, don't do another one. You suck. Because I'll be like, yeah, I know I suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let you go so I can get some of this meat. I'm really scared for the frozen. Like the dumplings are fixing to be one giant dumpling if I don't get it in the freezer. So God bless everybody. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind because there certainly is, enough of the, is not enough in, that, in this world. I can't even talk. I'm so full. Why not? <laughs> y'all take care and I will see y'all real soon. Bye. Let me move all this so I can hit stop.